Okay, guys, this is uh, Mentirosa. Uh, Prince Board produced and did this track. Um, I can't remember the name of the group. I'll tell you. I'll tell you after after we see this. A lot of times when we're working with vocals, it happens with a lot of different instruments, particularly with vocals. For me, it might be different for you, but sometimes I want it to cut through. I want it to really be aggressive, and I want to get the low end just right and and i've noticed it's easier for me to go too far and then take too much low end away and add it back inside the mix than for me to listen to the mix and see when it's when it's right so let me show you this technique this is going to be really quick and it has a lot of applications so this might seem like a like a short end to the layer but it actually is a, is a pretty powerful one now here's the vocal i've got right here that's without my main EQ. Now, let me show you. I'm going to take the EQ. And this is with, this is with the low end. It's not cutting for me. So let's exaggerate. So it's really thin. So let's listen to a little bit of it thin and then get our ear accustomed to that. So instead of thinning it out, we're going to fatten it up. That's where I like it, right there. Let's see how close I got. Um... Ooh, that was pretty close. Okay, so you see the concept? Instead of starting with the vocal with all the low end on it and start subtracting, I find that more difficult than to exaggerate the amount of low end I take off and add it back. I tend to do this sometimes with a sub on bass. I do it that way. Sometimes I'll do, especially rock guitars, uh, there's some, sometimes you want that 100, 200 in your guitars, well 200 for sure, uh, but sometimes you, you don't want all that low end, sometimes you do, so this is a good way to do it for that. Uh, like I said, it works for a lot of different things. Short and sweet, let me know.